Hello everybody, so today I'm going to give you a Windows 10 review running on MacBook Pro. So this one basically I did the installation on the MacBook Pro today. So I'm going to review a couple items. So from the installation, the booking, dis booting, displaying audio, sound networking, settings, keyboard, touchboard, pr printers, languages, system settings and uh, a couple applications desktop applications i'm going to go through one by one to see everything is running smooth or there's some troubles okay so basically installation what i did is from this uh, website so basically it's a download windows 10 website from microsoft i did the download 64 bit and uh, finished installation i won't show you the whole process it could take uh, two or three hours so anyway but uh, basically there's uh, no issue at all when i install the windows 10 so i just choose keep my settings and apps and the data personal data and apps so everything is installed and it did a couple of reboot but eventually there's no trouble at all and I can boot into Windows 10 without any issue so basically it's here I can boot into Windows 10 now I can show those menus and uh, displaying uh, when I log in at the beginning I'm okay to see all my display settings seems all working well the display the color and all the, the settings is uh, showing here right so yeah it's got another display settings i can change those settings okay and the colors so i i don't see any weird uh, color or displaying in Windows 10 so it's uh, I would say it's quite a success uh, to migrate the driver for the my display audio and the sound okay this audio seems working fine to me so I can listen to music uh, and uh, I can play the voice whatever and uh, basically I'm using the same application I'm, I'm using the application in the same laptop to make my tutorial review videos so the input has no issue at all so this one is quite success networking okay networking I can get my wireless previous wireless connected without any trouble connected my wireless already and also when I go to my uh, network and settings I can see my wired adap adapter still showing here so networking I would say no issue at all so it's quite success and then my settings my you basically my user my personal file they are all migrated here right so oh, not, not this one so my desktop my all my settings and my password also kept well so this one I would say is quite uh, smooth in terms of this and the uh, keyboard I can type from this keyboard uh, easily there's no issue but one thing I really I found it is the function keys so that means F1, 2, F, F, uh, here is F12. So basically the keyboard on the MacBook Pro is the function key is defined for the particular function. For example, you can change the light, uh, light on the uh, monitor. You can change the sound volume. You can do a mute on the sound as well, but after that I installed it, the issue is I couldn't function key. Function key. 
plus this function. So basically, so this is the issue I found, uh, this one. So I couldn't use the function key to adjust the volumes anymore. I don't know how can I fix it. But uh, this is just all everything is default and the previous in my Windows 8 I can do the function like mute the volume, change the light uh, and uh, do the multiple monitor stuff like using the function key so basically it lost this function at all and uh, so if I launch that uh, boot camp so basically this is the place to define the functions right so but when I change it it seems not not impact my I even couldn't click OK on this one so let's see if I got the function key back no still not working so basically i couldn't get this working touchpad seems okay to me i can use uh, uh, one finger or two finger to to do the touch it, touchpad okay double click okay and the printers uh, let's uh, bring up my printers printers okay seems uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's found my printers on the network and installed the printers automatically for me. So basically, it's, uh, it's fine. But I haven't printed yet, but I assume it will function. Okay, so here, this is for the keyboard, one each one. And other language is displaying. Maybe you already see my desktop. I have got my. Chinese characters displayed correctly and in the in the browser it's fine it's displaying my language at least and also my previous input method I can use for example I can use this one uh, I can type the Chinese character as well so all the input methods listed here still valid so i will say this one is quite successful and uh, system settings let's go to control panel control panel so this uh, seems working fine this one and, uh, is quite responsive everything i can i i will not change the setting for it any of them yet but uh, at least I can operate uh, without any issue <coughs> okay and uh, if I uh, I believe it also got some other settings here right so the PC settings it, it's got a lot of settings anyway the system setting here is uh, it's more like a tablet settings so anyway uh, so it's got multiple control panels kind of thing. you can change the system settings here and there okay so here anyway so the system settings changing and uh, config has no problems and um, yeah one more big thing is all the previous applications so basically the Windows 10 upgrade it got all my applications still available to me all the icons all the uh, application shortcut still here on the desktop and on my here this one is also I don't see the all applications now here so oh here all applications so seems my this is my application so they're all here so 
I don't need to reinstall anything so anyway I mean I'm going to go through a couple applications for example my web byte I can launch it I will not try all the functions but no. we try to launch it okay so launching it, it has no issue and it got uh, notice me there's a new application so I can install okay no issue at all Adobe Edition Audition I got an, uh, this one Adobe Audition installed seems okay okay I can launch it even I haven't tried to use it but uh, my okay so and uh, what else I'm going to try Active Presenter uh, I have a free version of Active Presenter so you know, let me try to launch it okay it seems okay to me yeah if I open a previous project okay it's running well okay no issue at all what else let me try uh, open VPN I have an open VPN application previous it's thought so since it seems running okay so got everything here and uh, what else google chrome google chrome and running well and running good here in my pc so that's great and uh, have an antivirus is commodore antivirus so it's still running running okay the display in the interface so i have another one open product broadcaster software is running yeah it's running as well and um, why is it uh, okay anyway uh, let me see Yeah, this one is running okay. Actually, I'm using this one right now. Okay, and another remote desktop client. Let me try to connect to one of my... So, remote desktop client. Okay, it's uh, running okay. Okay, it's connecting. Yes. Okay, it's a, yeah, it's running good. So, okay, and uh, what else? I'm going to try a VPN. VPN seems okay to me. I I tried open VPN, but I assume VPN will be fine. Other application, let me try a couple of them. Yeah, this one got installed. Okay. And uh, this one uh, is displayed. Okay, great. Uh, this one play music. Oh, it's, it's playing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, great. So basically, all the application. Pass test. So, yeah, this quite impressive to me. Uh, all the old application is running well on Windows 10. Okay. So the only issue I found is that function key not uh, not function. Okay. So let me bring up my system settings again to get my computer. Properties uh, Windows 10. So this one is running on MacBook Pro 2011 version. 2011. Okay, 2011. But uh, he didn't say anything. Didn't 
MacBook Pro. So basically, this this is what I'm using to do this review on this laptop. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.